Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a GameReplays.org Honcast. Today we have the showcase from Empire vs. MSI from the Honcast $5,000 Invitational Tournament. I am your host for this evening, Four Court Jester. With me is Luke DeRiff, our Senior Strategy Specialist. How are you doing today, buddy? I'm good, I'm good. Pleasure to be with you, Jester. Yeah, I hope you got a good game. A lot of good comments about this game. Now, they are doing showcase matches. I think it's just best of one because they don't seem to have any follow-ups. So, you know, pleasing the crowd, getting out some more eSports publicity, good, fun stuff. Would you like to go over the bands? Yeah, we can. Yeah, well, I surely can do that. We have Engineer, Kronos, Nymphora, Thunderbringer, Pandemonium, and Tundra. And to be honest, nothing. Oh, well, there's one surprising man there, which is Tundra. But we've seen um, MSI play a whole lot of Tundra and use them in two great effects. So um, nothing really, really odd here. Thunderbringer might seem odd, but we've seen a lot of Thunderbringer play as well, especially with the combination of a bottle and a blood chalice. Thunder Thunderbringer basically gets like infinite mana and just, you know, spell spamming and a, f a Thunderbringer with infinite mana, you know, that's no good. Um, yeah, infinite mana with especially just the devastating effects that Thunderbringer can have in an AoE situation uh, can definitely be not fun to play. I like how there's a panda ban. Who banned the panda? It was indeed Empire I'm because sorry. MSI bot has obviously... It was bot, right? With uh, the big huge panda intro to competitive? Yes. Yes. It, it was bot. No Tails played a bit of before him, but bot was like really the one that brought him in. Yep, fun stuff, so no tri-lane with a panda. I have seen Tundra used to semi-good effect, sometimes not good effect, depending on who they're playing. So I'm a little surprised at that as well, but overall, some pretty nice bands going on. So what do we got for picks? Well, we got, on the Legion we got already, um, Soul Seed and Magmus, and the Dark Lady, I'm pretty interesting, because in Empire, they have the two favorite heroes of Scandal, and he's got to sort out what he's playing now. Um... Obviously, you already have like massive AOE with Soul Seer and Magmus there. Great initiation. Also, this hard carry, and we probably see like um, Andromeda not banned. That's pretty odd. They just realized that probably pick her up for a trial lane and run, you know, Dark Lady in a trial lane. Um, then on the Hellburn side, we got um, Voodoo Jester and Witch Slayer, which is obviously shouting out, hey, we're going to trial lane. Um, Wondering what MSI is going to put in for their carry here. It's most likely, like Malikan seems to there so be seems to be their favorite pickup, but we're going to see. Yeah, it's just playing yeah. the waiting game at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's always really annoying because they're taking so long with the picking. But I guess, I guess. You, well, they're pros and shit. Well, you gotta really make sure you get the right pick. The wrong pick could just yeah. definitely be disastrous. I mean, that turns the game ascension into a 5v4, and that is not something you really want to be facing when you're into, you know, the yeah. 18, 19, 2000 range, looking there at uh, No Tail, Trixie, Fresh Pro, I mean, almost the entire team of MSI except Nova. Okay. Well, we got certainly some interesting pickups here with Slither and. Um... Talk to Repulso, so they have three really strong trial lane heroes here. Um, whereas we have, yeah, Doctor Repulso, obviously one of those heroes that can really, you know, go in that three v one situation or go mid. So we're not really sure about that one yet. Um, yeah, MSI not really revealing very much about their lanes yet or the, you know, their strategy. As far as um, initiation goes. I'm just wondering because I've seen it a lot of times lately in competitive play that teams kind of lack initiation and initiation is still very crucial. So that's like one thing that I always watch out for. Well, get an Assassin Shroud on a Slither, just run in their ult. Uh, you could have a Witch Slayer jump in there with Striders and just do a graveyard <laughs> yeah, miniaturization. Not nothing, really, it's not like like it's not like a Magnus. Oh, Tempest. Like okay, that is pretty interesting. So they're not gonna run. Um, they're not going to run a, a solo against the trial lane. Yep. They're going to jungle. That's that's a pretty good strategy, actually. And you got, like, massive, massive AoE now. It is one of the ways to kind of counter the trial lane, because in the trial lane, you're just essentially forced exactly out of the lane. So you might as well just go jungling anyways. Yep, exactly. Pestilence picked up for Fresh Pro there on MSI. So there you go. He's Tank slash initiation yet. with him. 
Uh, portal key, AoE stun is my best bet there. <laughs> yeah, portal key. That's it. So they got there. Probably put um, Pestilence in the trial lane there. And then um, Slither mid. And then run um, Voodoo Jester and Witch Slayer together with uh, Pestilence. You really think you Witch Slayer yeah. mid? I would have said Dr. Repulsor mid, personally. Um, yeah, Dr. Repulsor, but they, they need to uh, something to go up in, in um, one... 1v3, or are they going to go trialing against trialing? Yeah, that's another possibility that they could go. Well, um, Yeah, we'll see how it turns out, really. Yeah. We can't really predict it from now on. Well, the game is loading, the announcer has announced the match, and we will see these two, two, yeah, these two teams, that's what I wanted to say, uh, go head-to-head -head here in this Honcast Invitational show match. And I think my mods are good. Yeah, I think my mods are good. Okay. So Dark Lady. Yeah, okay. Pick up there for being played by Scandal. Have we ever seen Scandal go Dark Lady? I've seen him do some amazing Soul Stealer work. <laughs> yes, we have. Scandal is like the player that in that brought Dark Lady to where she is now, to that popular state, and he's probably the best Dark Lady player in the game right now. I hope that he lives he up is to it. Ridiculously good on <laughs> it. Yeah, I do hope. It's always fun because she's she's so powerful if she can get farmed. And, you know, Scandal, he's a farming machine, we all know that. It's just a great, great farmer. Alright, so we got Dark Lady coming down here with Andromeda Magmus. So they do want to do set up their tri lane, I suppose. Although we have Tempest and Soul Steer coming over, so they might just end up, you know, looking for a 5 gank and then splitting off to their original. Yeah. Uh, does look They're like looking. Repulsor's up top, blood. so good call there. Yes, yeah, because um, Dr. Repulsor, they, they probably want to go try lane. We use, we use try lane. And, um, they, you know, Dr. Repulsor, once he gets level 6, he's pretty hard to kill because of his ultimate. I mean, I'm not as familiar with Dr. Repulsor because I haven't played a whole lot of Dota, so he's pretty new, pretty new to me. But I, I find him extremely, you know, he's a very mobile hero with his ultimate especially, as I said already. So he's really not bad at that, you know, going 1v3 or especially 1v1. Mm. You know, that's always cool. Indeed. It's going to be... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. They, they ended up going up top. Instead, I guess they're still looking for blood, but this try lane down south, I mean, these two buddy wards sitting right here are kind of just giving away vision, so everyone knows what's going on. That's going to give Soul Steer the heads up to get out of lane, and uh, I suppose it's going to be a roaming game at this point. I mean, we got four up top and four mid. Oh, yeah, look, look top. <laughs> Yeah, they're looking okay, for blood. For, for it's like an angry mob on the move. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But Dark Lady <laughs> spreading the illusions. Okay. It's going to be an early warning system here. Pestilence is going to run right into it, and that's going to give them the key to get out of there. And, yeah, they, I think yeah. they know. Yeah, they know. Oh, they don't want to get out. They want to initiate. Uh, Andromeda going to get hit. Right there, gonna be stunning that slither. Magmus, I do they know who they want to go on? Apparently, it's Repulsor, and you know, oh, Doctor Repulsor, big trouble here. Um, I don't know. It's kind of all turning all back on that dark lady, and she's gonna go down for a bloodlust. So I don't know. I guess they're gonna continue this with the Tempest. I it's just kind of a uh, big AOE mass pestilence is not on the Legion team. I don't know why I thought he would be there. It's like, oh, come on, get a good stun off, but no. All right, so um, <laughs> four top, four left. We got Soul Steer down south. I guess essentially free farming at this point. <laughs> There's no one there, and uh, Witch Slayer is now mm -hmm. going to take lead in the middle. And we middle. got Witch Slayer mid. That's pretty interesting. Um, as far as I'm concerned, because I thought they might run um, Slither, but Slither is a really strong child in here as well. But um, we all know that Trixie, he's been running this. Um, uh, solo Slither, and he's actually done very well with it partially, so, yeah, but <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with Slayer, definitely a good solo mid. We got Magmus, that's really odd lanes thus far. Well, you, you can easily play Slither as a solo, uh, just majority of the time he's played more as that support because of toxicity plus wards. Uh, people just really like the aspect of the free wards, the free vision, the slow, the toxicity is negative, you know, health regen. And a lot of people just don't like to play him in that carry role when they could have someone else, like Soul Steer, Dark Lady, you know, that kind of idea. Yeah, well, if you have to, cha to choose in between, like, Slither and, um, like, uh, and Witch Slayer. But I guess MSI, they're pros, and they're, like, the best team in the world right now, so they, they 
basically know what they're doing. Um, yeah, so it's, it doesn't really matter because they're both really good gankers, so it's probably what they want to say. I have a really good ganker there. When the Witch Slayer hits an early level 6, you know, get nuts of a bullet and then starting to do pull off some very good ganks. And, you know, it's basically what... It's basically the same. Well, just because, I mean, people haven't done it yet or it's been labeled as, you know, Hocus Pocus and Fooey and don't do it, you're a noob, doesn't mean that it's a bad idea. I mean, people are rediscovering... No, I'm not saying Witch Slayer Mid is a, is a bad idea. Like... Um, they had they they basically had the choice. Like Doctor Repulsa was gonna go in the solo lane. Um, that was pretty. Uh, that, that that I was pretty sure about. But then you have um, and Andromeda was. Well, what, who they have? Um, Voodoo Jess is not gonna solo because it's just too much of a support hero. And you know him getting the the farm and the experience. It's not really give you that much. But then, then you have the choice in between Whistler and um, Slither. Which both can solo very well. They they're both not bad at it, no doubt, and it it helps the team, you know, to do it. I just thought that it might be more can you know, because MSI have done it before. That's why I thought they would do it. I, I'm not arguing that Wood Slayer is about bad solo. Okay, he's he's decent. He's decent, yeah. But uh, I think I was referring more to the Slither. But Slither, Witch Slayer, right. they're kind of in the same. But you can play them any number of ways that you'd like, and just because it's not popular to play it one way doesn't mean it's not viable in the right circumstances. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, Jester. Alright, so, um, that Bloodlust has kind of just led us to this lull, although it looks like Dr. Repulsor could be in some trouble. Double Demon Hand's gonna take him down for a revenge kill. Magnus, I mean, he was one auto-attack, I think, from dying at that point, so gutsy, gutsy Magnus. Oh, well. Gotta be gutsy as Magmus. Gotta get the kill. Good job, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's just take a quick look at the lanes. We have Dark Lady up there with Andromeda, so a nice little babysitter, but they are against the tri lane. Now, we kind of thought that they took Tempest to counter the tri lane, but, I mean, they've, they've left the tri lane with two heroes against. Wise move? Um, well, the point is, you can, um, like when they. With their lineup that they have right now, it's basically um, you. Um, Soul Seal is gonna go mid, that is for sure. You have um, and then you have Tempest to counter the trial lane kind of thingy, you know. But then you can run a trial lane with Magmus, um, Dark Lady, and um, Andromeda. But then you then you have two melee heroes, and we all know dual melee lanes they kind of suck because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and especially Magmus. Magnus has so such low base, such low base armor. You know, he's like the second. He's got the second lowest. On the one that has lowest um, is wait, Pebbles. Pebbles only got 1.26, so I think so basically nothing. But Magnus has nearly no so he, uh, base armor, and so he suffers greatly from like harassment that comes out of you know auto attack harassment early on. And he's a good roamer, so if he can set up some kills, and then it's definitely worth it. And it doesn't seem like um, Dark Lady is struggling too much. And we've got movement already. Yeah, all five have cycled bottom. I suppose they want to try taking out this Repulsor Jester combo as Voodoo Jester came from top. And we got a free farming Pestilence up top now because he's been abandoned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got we got uh, Pestilence free farming top. And they probably rotated bottom because they saw that their tactic of, um, you know, that, that running that dual lane with... Um, and uh, Dark Lady. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, didn't work out, so they moved the dumb bottom to make them to give Dark Lady an easier time. Right, this is more of what we thought was going to have two dual lanes with a jungler. Yeah. Just, I'm a little surprised they attempted a, a, exactly. a dual lane against a try. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they thought might as well try, you know. <laughs> if it w if it would have worked out, which is highly doubtable, but it would have been great. But we see now. So they're coming down with a double damage room, but he's going to get caught. There comes the poison spray. It's not going to help because Magnus takes him out. Yeah. Yeah, they were coming down to support the Dark Lady, who was kind of going mono, uh, uh, lady, I guess, against the Voodoo Jester. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they're going to cycle down. He's really out of position. Did not notice the Slither, so Slither paid it for him. I wonder if Fresh Pro knows that he, w he was able to live because of his sacrifice of Nova. It's possible. It's possible. 
Right, so yeah. I'm sitting here at seven and a half minutes. It's sitting at two, two. Uh, we do have kind of for the levels. It is kind of being dominated by that Witch Slayer mid. He is level eight, which is far and ahead of Soulseer, who just dinged six. 